Hey everybody, this is Birch. Um, I had a suggestion, actually a lot of you had the same suggestion, uh, talking about the Hulk and uh, Donny Cates off the Hulk now, uh, obviously dealing with some personal issues. He, uh, he did go to Twitter, several of you have asked, he did go to Twitter and uh, announced basically that he is uh, divorced. So uh, my, my you know best wishes to Donnie as he works through kind of these issues and hopefully finds the right headspace to do it. My only advice and, and hope is that whoever is giving him advice is a good person who is uh, here to help him and not somebody who's going to callously take advantage of the situation or you know give him bad information or or otherwise just twist his head up further. Rich Johnson. Anyway, but but um, whoever whoever is helping him, I'm hoping that uh, he is getting the help he deserves and, and definitely needs. Uh, but but with Kate's uh, off the, the title, there's the question of who's going to take over the Hulk. And so I made the suggestion, again, so did all of you, that hey, a really great a really great option is you know with Marvel right now, and that's Peter David. So Peter David, uh, of course, has uh, written the Hulk uh, in the past. He's, uh, in fact, probably one of the most famous Hulk writers. I'm trying to think if there is a, a more famous one. Had a extremely long run, introduced lots of different characters. Uh, some people, you know, not everybody liked it, uh, but, but a lot of people did. It's a well-loved run, typically, is the long Peter David Hulk run. And, uh, and again, one of the most celebrated. And so it seems, and 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 as you know, uh, Peter David is going through some pretty tough uh, times at the moment. He is uh, he suffered multiple strokes. He is in the hospital. I'm happy to say he is getting better. He stood up under his own power a couple days ago, and uh, he is uh, at least projected to go home at some point soon. So he is doing better. Is is the answer, and that's great news. Um, but uh, but it begs the question, you know, hey, you know who would be a good writer for the Hulk? Yeah, Peter David. Uh, Peter David could dictate, could do some writing, um, even in his current condition. But, you know, you could also give it a couple months, get him on the road to recovery and get him a nice Hulk book. Um, and this, this, from a very, very callous point of perspective, this accomplishes two things. One, you get a Hulk writer, somebody who knows the character, somebody who's reliable, somebody who uh, is already in your system. Obviously, he's writing for Marvel now. And number two, Marvel, and I wouldn't even mind if they did this. It would be, again, it would be cynical, but, but I'd, I'd, I'd take it. Marvel could go out and throw a little parade for themselves about what good people they are for giving Peter David, kind of a legendary creator who's fallen on some tough times here, had a GoFundMe, uh, you know, basically uh, say, look, look, we're giving a classic uh, beloved creator some work. And, uh, you know, and, and we're also helping him out with his hospital bills because we're giving him, him work and some, some certainty. How awesome is that? So that is, um, that, that, is a, that is the very definition of a win-win. You get somebody on the book, somebody who knows how to do it, somebody who's already in your system. You get a little bit of good PR out of it. This is, uh, this is the most no-brainer of no-brainers there is. Um, so I, I posted this and, and mentioned it. And kind of what surprised and or um, depressed me a little bit is that um, basically a number of people came in to say, well, you know, Peter David won't work for nothing. There's no way he will work for Marvel. Except he is. Literally right now. He's got several, he's had several comics over the past several years for Marvel. And other people say Marvel would never want to hire a white writer to... Uh, to write the Hulk, I don't know what race you think Donny Cates is, um, and uh, you know they're going to want some woke lesbian to write it, basically, and uh, they wouldn't let Peter David near the Hulk. Um, well, as it turns out, the title that he is writing right now for Marvel is uh, is Joe Fixit the Hulk. It, it is the Hulk. He was also doing the Maestro last year. So, um, I okay, I don't know what to tell you. It's depressing a little bit. That uh, people and, and there are several people who basically made the claim of like, um, I love Peter David on the Hulk. Peter David on the Hulk was my favorite ever run of the Hulk. And there's no way Marvel would ever let Peter David write the Hulk again. It's like, OK. But he's writing it right now. Literally right now. Yes, it's a miniseries. It's not the main title. Maybe that's your point. But if you love Peter David on the Hulk, why aren't you reading it right now? Um, they just did, I mean, he also did a book with, um, what, Quasar, 
that had Rick Jones and several of the supporting cast from when Peter David was on the book. In fact, there was a pretty massive status quo change for you know several of his supporting characters. I won't spoil it here, but basically a new death. Uh, Rick Jones gets some, some changes. So, I mean, some pretty big things happened. Uh, but he's doing that right now. If you're a huge fan of Peter David, um, okay, I'll, I guess I'll just say it this way. You're, you're a fake geek girl or boy or whatever you happen to identify as. You're fake. If your argument is that, uh, you know, there's no way that Marvel would ever let Peter David write a Hulk book because, uh, you know, they, they want to go super woke or whatever it happens to be, and you're ignoring the fact that he is currently writing a, a Hulk book, you're at best dumb, at worst, you are, you are the fake geek girl in this scenario. You are. I'm sorry to, to kind of say this. But I want to throw a, <laughs> it, 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 it. To me, the, the the frustrating part is that it indicates how how full head up ass we are right now with this argument. Because even you know potential obvious good things. I mean, hell, you know what? If if uh, if we really want to kind of put our money where our mouth is, yeah, I want to see the retweets. I want to see the videos. I want to see the uh, people sign on and push this idea. Put Peter David on the Hulk. Let's put some pressure on Marvel to make that happen. Why not? Certainly, I mean, again, it checks all the... Unless you are still been out of shape over Peter David's comments about the Romani from, God, how many years ago has it been? He did apologize, for what it's worth. Um, that was many, many years ago. You got Steve Orlando writing Scarlet Witch right now, so, I mean, I don't even know what that has to do with anything, but, but regardless... Um, I want to see some some push on all this. Let's see Peter David write the Hulk. Let's let's keep this in Marvel's ear. This is an easy one. This is not like saying bring back John Byrne. There's a lot of you know water under the bridge between the. Obviously they should, but you know that Byrne would have to be interested. We're not sure he is. Marvel would have to pay. They'd have to get. I mean, there's there's more hoops to jump through. In this case. Marvel has an existing contract with Peter David. He is currently writing comics at, at as of this moment. Well, obviously now he's recovering from the stroke, but he's writing books right now. He knows the character very well. I've met Peter David at several cons lately, as in in the last two years, and he, uh, you know, he he definitely is a big all in on Marvel. Loves the company, loves the products. I think I mentioned uh, he was watching Avengers Endgame. He said for like the five hundredth time just watching on a repeat over and over and over again. He loves the book. So let's, so, so he, he cares about the company. You already have a contract with him. You already are set up to pay him. So why not? You have no, you, currently the writers on the Hulk equals zero. The run has been interrupted and canceled. You are definitely going to want to relaunch the book or you cannot relaunch it. Somebody, uh, what Ash, who's been a guest on the show before, uh, mentioned, you know, will they stop relaunching? Look, I hear you, brother. I'm with you. Um, but that ship has sailed. Sure. Be great. But you know, they, they will, they will relaunch this book. Put Peter David on it. Easy. This feels like one that they could be pressured into doing. And this also feels like one where I think it's worth us trying to pressure them into doing that. Because the net outcome is, I get a good Hulk story. You know, he's a good writer. I'd like to see that. You, you, we don't have to ask the question, well, would he be interested in returning to the Hulk? Well, clearly he would, because he's writing it right now. And creator gets some money who needs it in a time of, of health problems. That's good, too. So I'm trying to see the downside. I don't see it. Everybody feels like they want to do this dance. We just need to push Marvel to do it. So let's push Marvel to do it, and, and definitely don't be don't be a fake geek girl or boy. Uh, don't be a fake geek them. <laughs> anyway, could you do that? Let's uh, let's get uh, let's 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 put some pressure on Marvel. Go out there. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. I mean, for the love of God, it'd be nice to put pressure on Marvel. Something good for a change. Thanks for listening. <laughs>